Hi, I am Tapon Chakravarti. Welcome to my channel, Fly with Tapon. Applying brakes on an aircraft after landing always remains a challenging job of a pilot because it is at high speed, in between 200 to 300 km per hour. Landing speed may vary from aircraft to aircraft. It becomes more complicated with the shorter runway, tabletop runway, or runway at hilly area. Today we will discuss different types of brakes that come into action to stop the aircraft in runway. First, the wheel brakes. This is the tire and the rim within. The rim has keyways or the slot. This is the brake plate known as rotors, which has a projection on the outer surface to slide inside the keyways of rim. Rotors to go inside the rim and rotate with the wheel. After the rotors come the friction plate or stators. This also goes inside the rim, but as it is circular in the outer surface, remain free from the rim and does not rotate with the wheel, but has a keyways or projection in the inner surface to get engaged with the wheel axle. The multi-disc brake system has a few pairs of rotors and starters placed alternately in the rim. At the last, there is a pressure plate. After pressure plate, there are pressure actuators. It may be operated by hydraulic or pneumatic pressure. When the pilot presses the brake pedal to apply the brakes, the pressure comes to this actuator and its piston will be extended and will force the pressure plate to squeeze the rotors and starters arrangement. Friction will be created between the surface of the rotors and starters and will apply brakes on the rotation of the rotors as well as on wheel. This is how aircraft wheel brakes work. On aircraft brakes, there is an anti-skid system. It applies maximum brakes, keeping the wheel roll over the runway. If the situations arise such that wheel is about to skid, it's got a sensor works on inertia. It will release the brake pressure and prevent the wheel from skidding or dragging over the runway. And again, it will apply the brake. The anti-skidding braking system has some prominent advantages. Braking is more effective while the tire is rolling over the runway rather than skidding or dragging. It prevents the uneven wear and tear of the tire, hence enhancing the tire's life. Applying brake through a control mechanism is always better than that of applying by human, especially at high speed. Can wheel brake alone be able to stop the aircraft in the runway? Yes, it can do it if it is a standard length of runway. Is it free of problem? Certainly not. Applying only wheel brakes and stopping the aircraft causes the complete brake assembly to heat up. It shortens the component's life fitted in the brake assembly, require early replacement during maintenance, and worse of it, it may catch fire sometimes. So there are some other braking devices which also apply brake after landing along with the wheel brakes. These are spoiler, flap, thrust reverser, etc. Flap is a control surface but it can contribute to brake also. Situated at the trailing edge of the wing towards the fuselage. Primary function of the flap is to produce extra lift during takeoff by putting the flap down to a certain angle. But during landing, the pilot brings it down to a much stiffer angle. At this position, it produces more drag or air resistance or brakes. Next comes the thrust reverser. The function of the engine is to suck the air from the front, compress it, mix it with fuel, burn it, then throw the huge volume of gas through the exhaust in the form of a jet, which makes the aircraft to move forward. Now if you can turn the direction of the jet towards the front, then it can oppose the forward movement of the aircraft. There are so many different methods to do it. This is a bucket type of thrust reverser. After landing, when pilot engage the thrust reverser, these two panels move in this manner. Now the jet is coming out from the engine exhaust, will be diverted in this way and will oppose the forward movement of the aircraft. Another arrangement of thrust reverser is to divert the jet in this manner. Was the landing of this aircraft? A portion of the engine panel 
will slide back to give access to the diverted jet. Among the propeller-driven aircraft, in some of the aircraft, the angle at which propeller strikes the air, known as pitch, can be changed. By changing the pitch of the propeller, the pilot can make the propeller to push the air towards the rear or towards the front. During takeoff and flying, the propeller pushes the air towards the rear and due to the opposite reaction, the aircraft moves forward. That is the primary job of the engine. But immediately after landing, pilot changes the pitch of the propeller and raises the RPM of the engine. Instead of pushing the air towards rear, it will push the air in the front and this will oppose the forward movement of aircraft, thereby applies brake. Next comes the spoiler. These are the hydraulic operated panels situated on the top and rear of the wing. Pilot engages the spoiler by means of a lever in the cockpit just after touchdown. It creates air resistance and thereby applies brake. There is one more advantage of the spoiler. It deflects the airstream upward, so the air will press the aircraft downward. There will be more load on the tire, thereby better braking effect. Along with the wheel brakes, the spoiler, the thrust reverser, etc. plays a significant role to reduce the length of the runway during landing and contribute towards flight safety. If runway is wet due to rain or snow, wheel brakes may not be much effective. In this situation, other brakes play a major role to stop the aircraft. If you feel the information I shared with you is valuable and interesting, then please consider subscribing to my channel.